what's up everybody and welcome back to another episode here with me tech daemon and as usual in today's video we're going to take a look at um a very cool program uh called uh, expose that um is basically used to uh put forward that is for those of us that have got uh, projects or uh, maybe you're writing stuff or uh, on your local host and then you need it to be hosted on the web for people to access well you can do that with um expose this is actually a pretty good option uh compared with um ng rock i think ng rock is the most famous but definitely um expose uh does the job the, the job pretty well so quickly <clears throat> i'm gonna go through the installation process and then uh show how we can use it so enough of the talking let's just dive in so first off um we're going to uh create uh an account with uh expose or with uh code and beyond i'm just gonna go to expose uh, quickly so i'll definitely leave um links in the description below so what you can do first off is we'll go to uh this link right here and then we either uh, create an account or uh, just sign up if you already have an account with um, Expose. What we need this account to do is to give us um, an authentication uh, code. Just like in NG Rock, you sign up, you get an authentication code. It's also the same thing uh, here for Expose. So I already have an account with um, Expose. It's actually the. Uh, it's pretty simple if you don't have an account i'll just show you that so you just full name email address and then passwords and you're good to go but i already have an account so i'm just gonna go sign up and then my password will be um sorry and okay well i think that's it i'm gonna sign up okay great so that was uh, my password actually so i've already signed up and so this is the dashboard uh of expose and then i have my username here and whatever uh is also needed uh, for this one so all i need to do now is just to download and install um expose and then i have my authentication code here and then this is uh how you share uh your local host or how you host your uh local host uh, on the internet so like everybody can access it um over the internet so first things first we're just gonna um install expose so i'm gonna go back uh, let me just bring this down and we can do uh ls i'm gonna do cd into um, expose i created um a folder for this so that everything will be like uh contained in one single folder so as you can see ls there's nothing there and i'm gonna go back and install composer there okay done and the second stage is to um perform a global uh require that is uh pseudo composer global require actually we can find that here we'll go back to expose um i think it's somewhere around here uh there we go okay so expose uh is a php application and you can install the client for your local machine as a global composer dependent uh dependency sorry so we're gonna copy this and then just paste it in there but i think it will be best no uh, let's just copy that i'll make a p and then i'm gonna do a sudo so we don't have uh any problems pay selection and i'm gonna hit enter on that okay continue as root or super user yes and allow that to install so there we go okay <clears throat> i don't think it's actually gonna take um, a long time even though i already have it uh installed but let's see how that goes okay so that is already done and quickly i am going to uh, ls and there's pretty much nothing in there yet but what i'm going to do is go back uh and then become a super user so i'm going to do sudo uh, su so that is sudo super user hit enter and then it's gonna ask me for my password um 
okay good so I'm now a super user okay pretty simple I can also do um, locate um, no. config oh, sorry and then for a slash expose sorry not expose compose hit enter on that okay so there are like tons of those uh we can go back up i hope it's the first one if not good good okay okay so home cake uh then compose or config and then composer okay so quickly i'm just gonna go that way and copy selection just gonna come over here cd and then paste selection hit enter on that ls okay there we go so pretty simple if it proves uh difficult to find at least you can always go um locate perform uh to find uh, the file you're looking for and as you can see i have um <clears throat> my file here or my uh, folder here that I'm looking for all I need to do now is just to do a CD into vendor uh, for a slash bin that's this folder in there called bin I'll do an LS and I have exposed in here so as simple as that I'm just gonna do it for a slash take an expose and then we're gonna go back uh to the account we created take our token here i'm gonna copy that and minimize this come back in here oh paste clipboard yeah okay so paste clipboard get rid of this expose here there's a space in there and then the token hit enter on that as I said I've already done that so uh, you saw earlier the authentication code was there and so the next step will quickly <clears throat> to try and then see if our um, expose works or if this uh, server or this program actually works so I'm just gonna quickly do a sudo um, that for a slash expose that is just to launch that okay All right, so there we go. <clears throat> we have uh, these two URLs here. That's expose URL, uh, one HTTP, the other HTTPS. And then we have the dashboard uh, URL. What I'm going to do is open this link up and let's see how uh, the dashboard looks like. And we'll just wait for that to load up quickly. It's a pretty nice UI, I'll say. It's pretty beautiful. I'll actually, uh, prefer this to um, the normal ng rock <laughs> okay quickly here we have um, a dark mode and let's see if I can uncheck that great so uncheck that and then this is how it looks definitely nobody likes um, this light mode everybody prefers a dark mode so definitely this is what we've got and then we have a QR code here if you don't want to write this out you can just scan the QR code and then boom you're on uh, your website or your own whatsoever platform you decided to host um, using Expose. Okay, so this works perfectly. That's great. Now I'm going to go back and then host uh, or start my Apache server, uh, Apache web server, and then see if we can host um, our normal Apache uh, website on here. So I'm going to do a uh, service Apache 2. Uh, status let's see if this is up okay so definitely there's nothing there could not see I'm going to do a start <clears throat> okay authentication all right and I'm going to check the status again okay so as you can see Apache is running and I'm going to uh, do a quick one one two seven the z 
zero, the zero, the one, hit enter on that. Okay, this is our page. I'm also going to do a 192.168.1.71. That's um, the IP of my Kali machine. And as you can see, Apache service is running on this IP and then on, okay, it's gone, where are you? And on this IP as well. So I have my Apache uh, running on both uh, of these uh, IP addresses. And the reason why I did this is just to show that um, I can host um, using any of these IP addresses. It doesn't really matter uh, which I use. So this is my internal IP and then this is um, the default uh, Kali IP. Uh, so quickly, I'm going to minimize that. And scroll down here. I think we don't need this anymore. Okay, so the next thing is to try to see if we can host um, this page, this Apache page on uh, this link right here using uh, Expose. So what we're going to do now is I think I can, uh, let me try here, LS, uh, there's nothing in here. I'm going to quickly uh, copy this again. Uh, here okay sorry copy this or you can just quickly uh, go back to the directory <clears throat> okay so perform a CD and I'm going to paste clipboard hit enter ls okay there we go so CD uh, vendor ls and then we have our bin there, so I'll do a CD bin ls that, and I have expose here. Okay, so pretty simple, sudo as usual, then expose, and then a share. What can I share? I can either share this IP right here, one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one, and then uh, specify my own port or I can also share 192 that is my local IP so I can do the same thing but let's try with my local IP for, or let's just try with um, this IP 127.0.0.1 and I'll specify port 80 doesn't really matter hit enter on that okay so as you can see our dashboard is still the same thing but this time on a different port 4041 and then local URL this is uh, our uh, Apache web server running right here so whatever we are hosting on our Apache web server that's it and then we can go to this link so I'm gonna click on that open and there's nothing there let's just get rid of this here hit enter okay as you can see it is running over there and this is the link all right let's go back again uh we're going to choose a second okay so as you can see right here we have uh something coming in i think i'll probably open this up and then do that again uh, let's try the second link this one open okay and then our apache web server is running right here with the same link so it's pretty much the same link but then just uh http and then https i mean just the only difference so this is without h uh here as you can see connection not secure we come back here and everything is fine so that's an https the other uh just normal http okay let's minimize that and great so this is what we've got here everything works perfectly now if we go back to um our dashboard uh, necessarily the dashboard good okay if we come back to the dashboard here that is the dashboard uh, for our local uh, IP here or for the default IP 1270 you see we have all of these <clears throat> coming in and then we can modify we can send request we can reply to a request we can respond or check the response and the request here I mean it's pretty cool definitely as compared to um, ng rock 
So as simple as that, if you have uh, any projects you want to access outside uh, of your home network, access it over the internet. I bet um, Expose is the best way to go. All right, guys, and thanks a lot for watching. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.